What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Another one! That's right. And another one, and another one. And Come another one, you. and another one, and another one, and another one. You know it. So every Sunday, me and Sharice, my beautiful wife here, I bring you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and take your relationship to a whole nother level, and hopefully a good level, right? Um, and don't worry, guys. If you're single or not in a relationship, these will be great things to put in that tool belt for later on. So when you do meet, hopefully, that special person, you can utilize these things and really, really get you know a lot out of these tips and tricks that we're going to give you guys, or just some good information that you might you know just take in and make it yours, however yeah. you want to, right? Because different relationships require different things. Definitely, one hundred percent, right? <laughs> and uh, you know, as we're talking about relationships, that's going to be the topic of the day. All relationships take work. Right. What do you mean? It's like it's just like an it's a part time job though. It's only like ten to two. Wait, what do you mean? I thought you can just be like, Oh, I'm gonna be in a happy relationship and it's gonna be the best relationship at all and poof, there it is. Yeah, it actually it does work that way. If you have a lantern. Yep, right? yep. Uh, you know, you rub it and a big genie comes out. And what, oh yeah, for sure. The genie's got it on point. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, so you know, if you don't got the, the lantern and you don't got the genie, you're gonna have to put in the work. Right. <sighs> and um, this could be a whole bunch of different aspects. It really just depends on how you are as a person, what your partner's like, and really what kind of scenario you guys are in, right? But you know, the basic fundamentals and the work that you have to put in. Obviously, when you guys first meet each other, um, it's like the honeymoon phase. You know, everything's all good, all joyous. It should be anyway. Um, you really don't know everything about each other, I don't think, right? You're starting to learn more and more about your partner. Unless you guys are like friends, like for years and years on end, and then you decide, oh, let's get in a relationship. Then you might know a little bit more about your partner, yep. some of their quirks, um, you know, Twerks. Pros, cons, whatever it is. Twerks, yeah, whatever it is, right? <laughs> I can help myself. You'll know more, more in depth about that person. But usually, um, you're meeting people for you know the first time, per se, and then you're getting to know that person. You guys start dating, and then you're going to, boom, get into a relationship, right? So when you're doing this, right, you're putting in the work, or you should be anyway. I don't know how this, the dating dating scene is nowadays. I'll never know, but... I'll, I'll never know anymore, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, never again, for sure. I don't want to get into that uh, craziness. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, when you start, right, as a, as a guy, and things may have changed now, but usually you should court the girl, right? You're, you're, you're taking her out on a date. You guys are doing something, whether it's dinner, movies, pup, pup, golf, you know, whatever it is, right? Whatever you want to take your, your girl to go do or a guy time. to go do, whatever it is. That's right. You're time. putting in the time. Putting in the time. You're spending time together. Yep. You're sharing experiences together, which is creating a bond between you guys, right? This is pretty easy stuff, or it should be anyway. Yeah. So once you're doing this, right, you're putting that time, you're putting that effort on both sides, it really should be coming. So at that point, you guys are really, you know, becoming together, you know, and that's when the relationship hopefully starts. And the relationship can start in a number of different ways, right? And it doesn't have to take a lot of time to start a relationship. It could be short. <laughs> with a couple weeks, or it might take a longer amount of time. It could take a couple months. Who knows? Sometimes I really, I mean, I really, I really think it's about how much time you put in. So, like when me and John first met, right? We're weird. So don't don't always go by exactly what we did because it's just it's we're just weird. So, anyways, when we first met, we literally spent every day. And let me take that back. We've spent every day together <laughs> since we've met. However, um, you know, in the first and I had my own job, he had his own job. You know, we worked two separate jobs, yep. um, but we spent like literally every day together, like every night together. Yeah. We watched movies in bed. We talked. You mm -hmm. know, it was just like just bonding experiences every single day and night. Mm -hmm. With the, it was every single day and night. And it wasn't even like... And it's not that it's not okay for guys to go out and have a good time with their friends or girls to go out and have a good time with their friends. But I do think, ultimately, and this is my, my opinion, is that if you're in a relationship, I would only guess that you would want to spend the time that you're not at work with your significant other, right? So, like, after work, you guys would do dinner and then, you know, maybe have some fun. Or at least, I would say, three, four nights out of the week, mm -hmm. maybe five nights out of the week, you guys are spending that time together. Mm -hmm. So, it's really weird to me anyway that, you know, sometimes I'm hearing about some of these relationships and you'll go, like, 
three days without seeing your boyfriend or like, you know, and you're trying to build this relationship, but you're going like three or four days without seeing each other. Or there's not even like a good reason why either. It's just, uh, I'm at my place and she's at her place and it's whatever. But like, why are you go? Why don't you guys hang out at the same place yeah. after work yeah. and like talk? I mean, because if you don't if you don't start talking and get that time with each other, because you can't nothing replaces time. Time is time, right? That's right. It's not you can't get it back. Nope. You can't pay for it. Nope. You can't go buy it. You know, it's just time is special. Yeah. So you got to spend that time in order to be able to really develop the relationship you're trying to you know trying to get. Yeah. It's the same thing with like a, a child, a dog, like anything, mm -hmm. any type of relationship with anyone. Mm -hmm. You got to put the time in. That's right. You know, and then that's how you build. That's so right. I mean, I think if you're in a relationship and you guys are dating. I really think you should be seeing each other more than like twice a week. You know, yeah. I mean, it, 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 especially it, listen. If you got a job, and you got to travel, you got to work, whatever it is. Yeah, it's that's one thing, right. right? If you guys are in the general vicinity of the same town or city, let's you guys call are it like three miles Tampa, away from each other. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty normal. I mean, I would want want to think that, and especially in the beginning, as you guys are getting to know each other and you guys are, you know, going towards being boyfriend and girlfriend and having a serious relationship. Um, then yeah, you're gonna probably want to spend majority of your time with that girl or guy, whatever it is. Um, you know, you want to. It's not forced on you. Right. They're not making you like you genuinely want to, right? You're like, I got, I'm taking care of my work, right? I, maybe I go get my workout in, and then I'm going to spend time with my girl um, because I want to be there, right? I, I want to be by her. I want to be next to her. You know, get the loving in, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. But you want to be by you know, you know the person that you're wanting to get in this relationship with. Um, when you don't spend that time together and you really start spending the majority of the time apart, then are you got, you know, is, how's that going to go? Like, you know, do you guys keep growing together or do you guys maybe growing apart in some ways, yeah. circumstances, you know, that could happen. Right. Um, it just, it's just really, it, I don't know. It, it's different. Everybody out there right now and with the dating scene is I ask all my friends, kind of by curiously <laughs> through them, you know, how everything is out there? How's it going? Like, what are you guys going through? You know, so I can hear the inside scoop. And most of the guys are the exact same, right? That, you know, if they're with a the girl, they really like a girl, they start dating a girl, they start spending more time with the girl and less time with the friends and less time out, right? right. Because they're not looking for anything out, right? right. They're, 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 they're adamantly like, you know. Wanting to hang out with their I, I've got everything I need right now. Yeah. Okay, I don't need to go out to the bar. It's like fun to, to hang with out friends. with your significant other. Yeah, now, or don't get me wrong, you know, guys night out or guys like to go hang out with guys and talk about guy stuff i totally <laughs> understand this right you know because some things you're probably not gonna be able to talk to your girlfriend about especially in the beginning you know you don't want to embarrass yourself or you want to make yourself maybe look a certain way i don't know there's all different <laughs> types of things out there so i understand maybe you want to go out blow some steam off with the guys but uh you know at that point i don't think you need to you know to a certain extent now all your guys might be running you through the bus or running you over saying ah 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 you're p whooped ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you know and then and then you get that right you're giving that flack and like you know we'll ask him like you know what about his girls now you don't have one that's how yeah. it is oh, oh, oh <laughs> you have no whoopings and you know i mean you know those guys <laughs> you know they might be able to get girls and no stuff whoopings like that for you <laughs> but it's not achieving like true happiness right you know right. anybody can go out hook up Right, and at that point, what's it worth? Even guys out there, I talk to them, right, and you know, just hooking up with a girl doesn't mean anything, right? It's like I hook up with a girl, so cool, and then after I'm done hooking up with the girl, like I'm like, all right, I'll get you an Uber, and you gotta go home. So they really, really <laughs> want to spend time with them, right? It's, it's just all about the physical touch and the love, and, and you're out the door. Yeah. But you know, when you find a mental connection as well as a physical connection, yeah. I think that draws you in more. I think you're going to be more enticed more. I think that everybody out there wants to find love or a significant other or partner. Um, majority of people, yeah, I have you know one of my friends, going to be 40 years old this July, <laughs> you know, has a baby <laughs> and hasn't like settled down. Like he never every, will. Every time he never. And I'm about will. to see him in a couple of days. Uh, he never every will. time, right? He'll be like, yeah, I'm like, oh, you know, this girl, and, blah. and then he'll get the girl, right? He'll get her, like, oh he's got her locked God. up, and then once he has her locked up, it's like, oh, challenge is over. What else can I do? I mean, I've literally had like Sharice was with me when we went up there. It was years ago, oh and he God. had a serious girlfriend. Was... Her name was Karen. I'll never forget. Her name was real Karen. nice, right? Her and name Karen, was Karen. Right? <laughs> it's real nice, real nice Karen. She wasn't one of the mean ones. Wow. And, uh, you know, she's literally like, we get home. I took, we all went out to like a nightclub in Chicago. We stayed at my friend's house. We go back there, right? Cause you know, he's having people or whatever. 
The girlfriend's like, ah, oh, I'm tired. He's like, all right, go to bed. So she goes to bed, right? And then what does he do? He gets on the phone. He calls up a couple girls and he tells them to it. come over. Next, next, next remote. So we're literally out in the living in room. In the same apartment. When these other girls are coming over to see him, he's specifically trying to hook up with another one while he has his girlfriend sleeping in, in, in the other room and literally down the hallway. Now, obviously that's not right, right? I'm but, like, John, you are never hanging out with this man, ever. But it was kind of <laughs> funny because I'm, I mean, not, not funny for the girls, <laughs> but it was just a funny situation. Like, the balls on this guy to be able to do this, you know, because I don't think I'd ever do that. That is good. But, you know, but, he's he's you pretty. Know, this is just this is just some of the funny stories and trust me i've got a ton more of these stories oh yeah they're great um you know and some with the same guy but uh you know it's just it's just funny so you know at that point some people might never be content um but i think there is somebody out there for everyone it's just you know you have to go through some of the trials garbage and, tri- and, trials, trials, and tribulations trials and tribulations to you're gonna it. do it and you gotta keep keep with it and that's the next thing when you find the treasure don't treat it like garbage and trash and like everything else that you find on the street, right? That's when you really got to put in the work. And that's when you really want to, you know, make yourself vulnerable to a certain extent, open up to that person. As long as everything's going well, right? That's not something you do in the first date. But as you're working and you're spending more time together, you're learning more about that person. Mm-hmm. And they're learning more about you. And that's bringing you guys closer together. And it doesn't end there because once you get in the relationship, Listen, now you guys are, you know, getting to the serious part. You might be moving in together and talking about engagement. It just engagement keeps, it keeps going. Even babies. when you're past the baby and the marriage and all that, you get to a 10-year mark, right? Yeah. And we're past the 10-year mark. And then you're like, okay, so what do we do to make sure that we, you know, keep each other happy? You know, what do we do to make sure that everybody's still content and they're, 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 they're liking the relationship still, you know? And it's pretty easy to do. Just go back to the first steps of what you did in the relationship to mm-hmm. begin with. Yep. You were all about it. You were courting her. You were taking her out. You might have been buying her some roses here or there. Whatever it may be, go back to that point. Don't become complacent and like, oh, whatever. I, you know, she's cool. You know, I already got her. It is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm concentrating on this or that. <laughs> or even take the minute. Like, you know, me and John are busy. We went, I, Honestly, I think I might be one of the most busiest people on the planet outside of the president of the United States. And even so, I am definitely, nah, I'm, I'm definitely busier than the president of the United States. I, you have to take that moment, too, when you've been, like, in a relationship for X period of time. And I, you, it could be a year. It could be two years, three years, four years, five years, ten years, twenty years, whatever it is. And recognize that, oh, shoot, we haven't spent, like, any time together in, like, two, three weeks. You know, because it's just get up, work, go to sleep, get up, work, go to sleep, baseball. Now it's, like, literally, it's sleep, work, baseball, sleep, work, baseball, 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 then more work, 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 and then some sleep, then baseball. All I see is baseballs in my dreams, okay? So it's okay. As long as my son turns out to be an MLB player, we're good. So I'm willing to sacrifice. However, it it does intervene with our personal time. So you have to take a moment to be like, wait a minute. We haven't spent any time together. We need to go like we need to go to like a movie or like we need to go to dinner, right. you know, or do something. Right. It takes what an hour or two, two hours out of your day to go yep. do something and yep. recognize that it's like, oh shoot, this has been happening, and you don't go the whole year and be like, oh shoot, we haven't seen each other for a whole year. We're just busy. Yeah, and that that puts strain on the relationship too. Trust me. Um, so that that's just some tips and tricks for you guys. Yeah, that's lots of tips and tricks. Keep working on your relationship. Don't ever stop. Right? Yeah. It's a full-time gig, just like anything else you're going to do. you got to put in the work. What you put in is what you get out. True. All right? So that's just some great advice from me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice. So, guys, we'll see you guys next Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. If you missed the live show, DVR it. If not, go to YouTube. Type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe button and the all notification bell, and you'll get all these great episodes and a lot more cool content (laughs) with me, Sharice, the Titanettes, the Titan crew, and all the therapies we offer. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then.